Right, okay, so I'm gonna talk to you about packing. But first things first, that's my excited face, because <laughs> I leave for Nepal tomorrow. So excited. So I've finished all my packing, and I'm just gonna run through with you roughly what I've packed and how I've packed. So if I just grab this, oh, I can get it. Here we go. So this, tangled in my mic now. This oh, is my trusty Aerial 65. It looks massive, doesn't it? But it's really not actually that big. I've packed it as lightly as I think I can. Um, this is a 65 litre. So we've got sleeping bag at the bottom, spare pair of shoes, got some sandals here. And then I've got a toiletry bag. And on the toiletry bag, oh, actually, I'll show you that in a minute. Toiletry bag, got my bits bag. My bits bag is what I'm calling where I'm putting all my bits. So I've got paracord, I've got a little pair of scissors, I've got um, some batteries, got my head torch, got a mirror, got some earplugs because you never know someone might be snoring. Um, what else have I got in my bits bag? Can't remember. Oh, brush, hairbrush. Um, you know, little parasites, smile, I think. Just little bits and pieces, you know, that I might, I want to just keep them all in the same place. I've done lots of compartmentalisation. Then above my bits bag, I've got a underwear bag. So just one bag with, you know, socks, knickers, um, bras. I've got then my clothes bag. So I've got two bags, one for trousers and shorts. Um, so a couple pairs of long kind of work trousers that zip into shorts. So like convertible trousers. Um, and then a couple pair of comfy trousers. Um, and what else about other trousers? Oh, just some like baggy kind of trousers. So. One thing that I thought when I was away in India last year was more comfy trousers because I think in your mind you've got, you think you're going to be working out outdoors all the time, which you are, but also there's a lot of downtime. So there is time, you, you know, where you literally just want to be lounging around and I wear nothing but leggings and, you know, uh, baggy pants. So kind of like harem type pants, just like comfy trousers, definitely bring one, at least one pair of those because you trust me, you, you'll want them you'd be comfy um, and then a bag of tops so I've got you know some t-shirts and synthetic t-shirts for hiking and all that kind of stuff and then just some comfy t-shirts you know all relatively high neck um, and then a fleece and I'm gonna wear a sweater and my raincoat to the airport so that's pretty much it there's nothing really crazy in there oh and a mess tin as well what else have I got in here I think that's it. So yeah, so that's this. And then I've obviously got my hand luggage bag, which I haven't packed yet. That's over here. Um, but I've got, again, a few bits and pieces of electrical stuff, um, camera, just a little camera, um, nothing special. What else have I got? Um, yeah, my mosquito net as well. I forgot to say that, but I basically just sat to the, sat, uh, sorry, stuck to the, packing list that Rally gave me. There's nothing um, really different um, that I've brought, but I've got a few things here that I wanted to pick up on. So, mess tin. So last year, when I went, I checked like a bowl, which you hold, and didn't have a handle. I know it sounds really stupid, but when I was, uh, you know, getting, ladling the food in, it was really hot, and it was just quite difficult to carry. I know it sounds really silly, but I just, you know, it was fine. I dealt with it, but everyone else had ones like this. Um, you know, so you've got a handle which is now the one that I've got, because then I won't burn myself as easy. So, li little thing like that. I had a plate last time, now I've got a mess tin with a handle. Um, toiletries. So, I'm not one for carrying massive bottles of things. You know, I've tried to pack as lightly as possible. So, big bottles of shampoo and shower gel, you know, really unnecessary. This, absolute lifesaver. Tiny little tin, and in the tin, if I can get it out, is a little soap. Ta-da! So this is essentially what I use for my shampoo. Um, you know, the whole time, and I'm, st I'm still using it now. It's, you know, I get them all the time, um, rather than the big bottles. And it's tiny, and it fits in this little tin. And that's about 100 washes, just in that. So, <coughs> depending how often you get to wash your hair, if you're lucky enough, it might be a couple times a week. I think I was only washing my hair like once every 10 days, maybe. I was, you know, showering bloody, but hair's just a bit of a nightmare, so. I didn't wash my hair as much, but yeah, they're really, really useful. 
Um, what else did I want to show you? I don't think... Ah, yeah, where is it? Over here. I'll show you this afterwards. This is more in my preparation section. Um, other thing, most important thing, um, take a diary. So this is my diary from last year. I am not a writer, really, really not. But it's just so lovely to look back it, on it. And I think, you know, I love looking at it now and it's only been a year and a half since I went to India with, with Rally last, last year or two years ago now. 